Good afternoon and welcome to our midday mall for uh, Thursday the 18th of June. In my early morning uh, quiet times and morning prayer, I was reading through the book of Deuteronomy and I was struck in chapter 22 where it says, If you see your brother's ox or sheep straying, do not ignore it, but be sure to take it back to him. If the brother does not live near you, or if you do not know who he is, take it home with you and keep it until he comes looking for it. Then give it back to him. Do the same if you find your brother's donkey or his cloak or anything he loses. Do not ignore it. And I was struck by the imperative for good, good neighborliness. When you see something that you can do, do it. And there's no mention of a percentage due to you afterwards. There's no notion of, well, you'll get a reward. There's not even a sense, if you do this, God will reward you. This is just, this is the right way to live. And we've lost that. We are so involved currently in how much I get and what's in it for me. And I have boys at school, ask them to do anything. And it's a case of, well, what do I get out of it? And say, it's the right thing, just do it. And I was wondering, how often do we do the right thing? We just do it. And it ought to be a mark of, of the Christian community. It ought to be the mark of our lives as Christian. That we are the people that just get on and do it. That we are good neighbors. That we find things for people and give it back to them. That we're the ones that help people. That we step in where we can. It's so a real challenge to you. Locked in your house, it's rather limited. You're not likely to find any stray sheep or donkeys, I wouldn't suspect. But how do we translate that idea into the 21st century? And how do we act this out even when we're not going around and out in society as much as we normally would be doing? But if we can get that right, and we can let the Bible shape our lives and our attitudes, We'll be happier, and the world will be a better place. So, a challenge for you to think about. Be blessed.